Welcome to the broadcast, everybody. It's going to be a great day. The weather's beautiful. It's cool. We do have some rain moving in on Friday. As you can see, I'm in Orville. The 2019 F750. And somebody's already asked, where is Brandon? Brandon called me over the weekend. And, or he messaged me, said he had some... Uh, personal stuff to deal with so I hope that he gets whatever it is sorted out that's his business and uh, wish him well on that what we've got going on today is our business and that is culvert work and actually a little bit of dirt uh, ditch work too we are this customer his ditch is washed out and it's just not a real pretty ditch line which Around the mountains, it's hard to get a ditch line like really pretty. Uh, he went over it with me, whether it was something he wasn't lined completely with riprap. I suggested to just do about every 10 to 15 feet a little riprap down to break and slow the water down and collect silt. And then just once in a while, as silt accumulates, he can just shovel it out and up onto the bank instead of it just being a full washout and all that silt washing into a culvert, which we have to tear the whole one out and replace. You can jet a culvert a lot of the times, but then again, depending on what's in there, if there's a stick in there sideways or whatever, it can just be kind of futile. And I just prefer to just tear the old ones out and put a new pipe in. I'm not sure which size he has in there now, but we're gonna go back with a standard 15 inch inside diameter, double wall plastic pipe. And it's actually got a good slope on it, which is good because a double wall plastic pipe has a smooth interior, and when it rains heavy, they tend to wash themselves out pretty good. And we're also gonna set it in a little bit better than the old one that way there's no reason for sediment to start accumulating what we got now we're going to the yard we're going to hook orville up to the trailer we're going to load the 15 inch pipe on the truck take a break from this jump in rambo our ram 1500 runabout vehicle and uh, there goes mr jerome with brock Meyer grading we're going to jump in Rambo and run up to Weaverville to look at a forestry mulching job. It's a property that a real estate agent is trying to get listed, but they can't even walk the roads. We've got another one of those jobs coming up that we've actually booked. So I've got to meet her, walk the job, and hopefully win the bid on it. We're not going to bid so low that we do it for nothing. And that's that fine that you gotta learn and if you don't run the machines guys and you think you're just gonna go into business never have done it and think you can bid these jobs without knowing what the machines capable of you're gonna lose a lot more bids than you win so bear that in mind if you guys are starting this business and whether it's grading excavation land clearing, anything, do the work. Be familiar with it, know what you're doing, and at least then if you have somebody lay out on you or gets sick, has a family emergency, then you can fill those shoes. Your workers will respect you more too if you jump in there and work with them. That brand new box blade. I cannot wait to hook that thing up and try it out that old house off of my tractor. House brand that is.
scraps to keep the DOT man happy. some of y'all can relate like you you go to look at a job and you decide pretty quick it's not a job for you a job you can't do or a job you just don't want but then they want to stand there and talk to you for an hour <sighs> par for the course back to work now that being said just because you don't want that particular job and you're just dying to get in your vehicle and go on up the road, get back to work, go to another quote, it pays to be nice to people, it pays to not be in a hurry because you never know when they're gonna call you again to do a different kind of job somewhere else, a job that you can do, you want to do, a job that pays decent. So, be kind and take your time now we're going back to work <laughs> i have arrived yep yeah, and that, yeah well you only do so much Get the excavator. I'm not too sure how excited I am about uh, hauling that excavator across this old freaking bridge. I think I'll unload on the other side of the bridge and drive that joker across. I don't see a posted weight limit, so I'm not going to chance it. carry that bucket and I don't want to make two trips so we'll just drag this pipe I don't have to lash uh, come on you green I don't want to have to make two trips so that'll work We have arrived at our job site and we'll just go over it real quick. As you can see, that pipe is full and the water has made its own path from up there down around through here. So, simple little project here. We don't know where the end of the pipe is, but it will be easy to find because I'm just going to dig in here and rip it out let's see how quick toddy can change out a culvert pipe well right there's the problem they put a screen over the end of it it's entirely too small look at all that 
Ain't no wonder it clogged up. Mystery solved. Now for the real time fans, I guess I'll just do this in real time because it's really not going to take me but a few minutes.
do some additional digging because that is a 12 inch pipe. That is a 15. Bigger pipe, bigger hole.
that jump out, I was going to crush that pipe down here. Maybe I thought the same thing. Maybe I didn't. So this is not going to have cars driving across it. This is mostly a lawnmower path. Well, you will probably drive a small, little bitty car across it, but I'd drive a big truck across that thing. Problem with this, I don't know why they got it clogged now. That is just super sandy soil. And it packs really good and smooth, but it also falls apart really easy. Tomorrow's project, we're going to fix this ditch line up through there. And we're going to do a riprap dam every about 15 feet to slow his water down and make that ditch line nice and smooth. I think he'll be happy with how it turns out. So we'll end this video. Thanks for joining me, guys. It's been a really good day. Really good day. We've had great weather, and we're supposed to have good weather through Friday. We've got a two foot by two foot catch basin to do then so hopefully the rain will just keep holding off you guys be sure to hit the like or unlike subscribe and help a brother out by commenting give your input tell us what you think about these projects i'm doing tell me how you would have done it or you know good advice good constructive advice for the other viewers and hopefully you guys are having a great day i know i am see y'all tomorrow